All right, so in your second project, we're going to create a portfolio resume web page, which is going to be one single page, but it will include quite a bit of the bootstrap components. So here's a list of features and functionality that we'll be including. Uh, one of the most important things in this chapter is that we're going to be using SAS, which is a CSS preprocessor. Um, and that's basically what this what this chapter is going to be about. We're going to learn how to install and configure SAS. Um, we're going to be working with SCSS files, which will then generate into CSS files using a program called Scout, which is really simple to use. Um, SAS will let you do things like variables in CSS, uh, file importing, functions, things like that. Uh, the grid system list styling. We're going to use the progress bar components, uh, media objects, which are just like lists of content. Uh, we're going to use it for, I believe, the references or, or something like that. Uh, alerts, we're going to include a footer and this will be very responsive as well and look good on all, all kinds of devices. For the sections, we have the intro, uh, the SAS environment setup, all right, so we'll be installing SAS and the Scout program, the Bootstrap HTML markup, and then we'll work on the styles in the .scss files. You'll learn how to build a resume web page, implement SAS using the Scout program, uh, SAS variables, nested items, imports, things like that, and a bunch of Bootstrap components, including the progress bars, alerts, and media objects. Okay, so that's it, and I will see you in the next video.